In this video, we're going to be cracking open three amazing ammonite nodules, as well as looking at a fossil fish. First of all, let's crack open the nodules. I've got here what appears to be a really exciting nodule. You can see the ammonite right there. In just a moment, I'll crack it open. It's a lovely big complete nodule, so whatever's inside we should have all of it. Right, let's open it up. Moment of truth. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Well, finally got there. Look at that. Really, <laughs> really don't come much better than that at all. Absolutely perfect. Slight little bit chipped off there where we opened it up, but you know, it's just sometimes how it goes, but yeah, really pleased with that. Got another nodule to crack open here, very similar to the previous one. See a bit of the ammonite already showing. Let's see how this one opens up. There we go, moment of truth, oh, not too bad at all. Just needs a little bit of shale taken out from the centre, otherwise it's come out really nicely. The next thing we're going to do is have a look for that ammonite in the slab. Shea's going to be excavating it and also chipping open the nodule itself. Hope you enjoy. Let's have a look for that ammonite then. First thing I'm going to do is just slowly pan across and let you have a look for it. I was very lucky with this one. I just happened, just so happened to walk past it and see the big edge of the ammonite sticking out. It's just come into shot now. And there it is, hanging out of that slab. Shea was with me as well as one of his friends and Shea is going to use his hammer and chisel to remove this nodule from the slab. It was pretty stuck within the shale, so we had to use our tools to remove it. I thought it might have been a little bit loose at first, but it just needed that extra helping hand to get it out. Once we get the nodule out, we're going to wash it in the sea. This is to remove some of the dirt so we can get a good look at the specimen inside. Have a look at the size of it and probably tell for certain what species it is before we even open the nodule up. It's going to be really exciting opening this nodule. Wow, look at that. As you can see, a nice big ammonite. That's going to be perfect inside. The 
The sea was really rough, as you can tell. It's probably because of this that this nodule got exposed in the first place. Perhaps there was a much bigger slab which had broken apart with the big rough waves. Wow, it's pretty good size as well. It's got nice sutures. Yeah. Might as well crack it open. Of course, it's very important when doing anything like this to make sure you wear proper safety goggles. I'm and I opened up so easily. Oh, very nice. It's got lovely colours. Yeah. Just wash it in the water. So there we have it, a stunning large Hildoceros ammonite from the Jurassic, freshly exposed by the rough sea. It's not every day you find something as good as this. In fact, I can't remember the last time I found a nice big ammonite hanging out of a slab like that. What a brilliant find. Next up, we're going to be having a look at the fossil fish which I alluded to at the start of the video. This is a find from several years ago and was one of the first fossil fish that we ever found. It's still one of our favorites and I'm sure you'll see why in just a moment. And here's a look at the fossil fish. Preserved in a slab of shale. See quite a few bits of shells and crushed ammonites on the back. And on the top, we were lucky enough to find this fish. Quite sea worn, as you can tell. However, the detail that is preserved is incredible. You can see quite a few vertebrae, lots of ribs coming down, partial fins, and of course, the best piece, in my opinion, is the head. Got the eye both upper and lower jaws with many of the sharp teeth still in place. Fossil fish are some of the rarest fossils to find. They're generally quite rare fossils anyway, but as with a lot of fossils, particularly fish, they're very fragile and the sea will really quickly erode them away if they're not found. Just get a close up there for you to see all of those teeth. See the teeth go all the way to the very end. There's the vertebrae, all of the ribs coming off. And for a fossil that's really worn, the detail that's left is just 
so so good i mean it barely required any preparation whatsoever so needless to say we're incredibly happy with this find just to finish off i've got a selection of still shots to show you a bit more detail of the fish head Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. I've got a few photos coming up now of some scenery shots which I took. Hope you'll enjoy those as well. Do remember, if you'd like to support the channel and get some ammonites to crack open yourself at home, just drop my brother or myself a message, preferably on our Yorkshire Fossils Instagram page. We'll get back to you as soon as we can it's always really fun opening the ammonites up it's nice to be able to share that experience with other people as well if you'd also like a fully prepared fossil Shea has plenty of those so if you do want one to crack open or fully prepared just drop us a message thanks in advance This one was from a pretty rough sea, as you can tell. And there we have it. If you like seeing these type of photos, just let me know and I can put some more into future videos. I'll see you in the next one.